Bail of the tape for Arturo Gatti versus Floyd Mayweather at 140 pounds. Gatti is five years older at 33. Mayweather with a half inch arm length advantage. Our check at a one inch arm length advantage and a half inch height advantage. They both weighed in at or within a pound of the 140 pound limit. We do not have their unofficial weights coming out of the, the dressing room tonight, but rest assured Arturo Gatti will significantly outweigh Floyd Mayweather in the ring. It remains to be seen whether it's any kind of advantage. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside scorer, Harold Letterman. The Arturo Gatti, Floyd Mayweather fight is scheduled for 12 rounds using the unified rules in the Association of Boxing Commissions. There is no three knockdown rule. Only the referee can stop the fight. In case the cut is caused by an accidental headbutt, we go to the scorecards after four rounds have been completed, and you cannot be saved by the bell in any round, including the 12th and final round. Jim. Pretty Boy Floyd will enter first. And you hear the theme music for the ultra-confident Floyd Mayweather. He has a spectacular smile, and the Gaddy crowd responds to the mode of transportation for the entrance. Uh, this is like Jesse James walking into a convention of bankers. He knows who the crowd is here to root for, and Roy, I think that makes him that much tougher to beat tonight because Floyd Mayweather, in a way, loves to be hated. Yes, he does. And this is what he thrives off of. This gives him extra fuel. That's why he's coming in with another one, Bites the Dust, the worst music he could possibly find to antagonize and really upset these, these fans and Arturo Gatti. Do you think he has belittled Gatti so feverishly coming into the fight because he wants Arturo to come at it? Yes, he does. If you can lure him into a slugging fight, then he definitely can beat him. If you want to stay back and bo boxes, which is not what he's used to doing, it may, it may cause a problem for him. A lot of people figure that Mayweather can easily win a decision here with his hand speed and his boxing skills. What he's promising is a knockout, an annihilation, an erasure, something which will embarrass Gaddy, after which he will party, as he says, on Gaddy's home turf. <laughs> well, it was only 90 degrees here today, so obviously he needs fur. Floyd Mayweather came close to defeat in the eyes of ring critics really only once. In his first fight against Jose Luis Castillo, some ringside observers felt as though Castillo might have deserved the victory for his body punching. Mayweather wound up sealing the deal the second time around. And here comes the love. It's not about whether he wins or loses. The plan is to puncture Floyd Mayweather's eardrums. a huge step forward in the career of Arturo Gatti. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of Caesars Atlantic City and Bally's Atlantic City, main events, along with Top Rank Incorporated, are proud to present the featured bout of the evening. Thunder and lightning. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBC Super Lightweight Championship of the World. 
presented in association with Caesars and Bally's Atlantic City with Nemiroff and HBO Pay-Per-View. Sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board, Boxing Commissioner Larry Hazard Sr., WBC President Jose Suleiman. The three judges at ringside scoring this bout will be Dave Moretti, Luis Rivera, and John Stewart. And when the bell rings, your referee are the Earl Morton. And now for the sold out standing room only crowd in attendance. Are you ready? For the millions watching around the world, courtesy of HBO pay-per-view, fight fans, are you ready? There's only one thing left to say. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 139 pounds. Professional record, a perfect one. Consisting of 33 bouts, 33 victories with 22 knockouts. And he is rated by all as among the best pound for pound fighters in the world. From Grand Rapids, Michigan, the challenger, former junior lightweight world champion, Former lightweight world champion, the undefeated Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with blue. A visual weight, 140 pounds. Professional record, 39 victories, including 30 knockouts with six defeats and two world titles. From Jersey City, New Jersey, the ultimate blood and guts warrior, two-time world champion, the reigning, defending, WBC super lightweight champion of the world, Arturo Hunde. You both received the same instruction. I expect you to protect yourself at all times, keep your punches up, and give me a good clean break. Touch gloves and good luck. It's great to want to be great. Floyd Mayweather believes he is, and many observers also believe that. Gaddy wants to find out if he is. In his last fight against James Leha, Arturo Gatti was throwing more than 40 jabs per round. Yesterday he told us, my jab is the key to the fight, but I'm not going to be jabbing Floyd to the head. You watch me jab him in the upper chest, on the shoulders, and particularly, I'm going to hit that front shoulder with my hook so many times, his arm's going to fall off. As for Mayweather, he's been fighting many of his recent fights up close in the pocket, where he's very hard to hit because of his elusiveness, and very solid with that straight right hand, and you just saw him rake Gatti with the straight right and follow it with the left hook. Yeah, Gatti started out with a jab good, but he's so much taller than Mayweather that it's hard for him to catch up with, with Mayweather. Mayweather hooked him off his jab already. And, and the difference in hand speed is immediately apparent. Gatti with a right uppercut. Gatti says, Floyd hasn't felt power like mine. Every time I hit him, I'm going to hurt him. Mayweather says, sure, sure he is. That straight right hand already appears to have done a, a modicum of damage to Gaddy's left eye, which has a red spot around it. Taken to the road. 
steps and into the come corner. On, come on. Let's back it. What There's no place stop? in the ring where Floyd isn't comfortable. What did the referee stop the action for just then? I have no idea. And Earl Morton is known <laughs> in the past as a referee who lets people fight. But it's a big event. Maybe everybody's a little nervous. Whip left hook by Mayweather. Gaddy trying to make that jab a factor. He's been a little more reticent to throw in the last minute after getting raked in the first minute. Good left hand by Gaddy. Stops Mayweather's right. And his jab just offset one of Mayweather's combinations there, so it's smart of him to use his jab. But Mayweather's using his too. Gaddy fainting before he throws the jab and fainting as he comes in, trying to set up a right hand. Arturo feels he needs to land something solid early to make the point to Floyd. And Floyd hits Arturo with a left hook on the break, and now there's a knockdown in round one. And Gaddy can't believe that. Six, seven, eight. Come on, Gaddy. Let's go. Keep your head up. Keep your head up. Gotta protect yourself at all times. But that's when the referee make a call that ain't really called. That's why I had when he came in and stopped it for earlier. Not a great first round for referee Earl Morton. Great on us, man. Don't worry about it. Okay? Let's get here. What we gotta do, champion? Listen to me. Don't let that take you off your game plan. Okay? Now listen. Keep stepping around to your right. Okay? You're staying in front of a little too long. You're staying low, beautiful. When you're moving over, you're getting under the hook. You cross the head again, you're going by there. No only goal is going to be busted up. Take care of it. Okay, now All right. Here you see Floyd jump in with a hook. Uh, got it, got low. His head was on. Got his head. He hit him first ball while he was down. The referee comes like he's going to come in. He's waiting for the referee to say something about him. Hit him while he's down like that. And Floyd hits him with another hook. I with can't the... blame Mayweather. He took advantage of the opportunity that was presented to him he's in a professional to. way. He's supposed to. I... There I was an agree, absence but of I thought the referee could have stepped in. He should have when the head was on the neck. When the arm was on the neck. Gaddy got nowhere near Mayweather's body in round one. Quick left hooks by Mayweather, forcing Gaddy to keep his right hand in. The bad thing about uh, about this case, I think, is that this favors Mayweather. Mayweather appears willing to take some risks when he gets inside. And again, the hand speed advantage readily apparent in the first two rounds. Floyd able to beat Arturo to the punch from distance and able to land two or three to Arturo's one when they get in close. Three punches there. Gaddy seems off stride. Roy well, doesn't seem sure of what he wants to do. No, he's not sure because of speed. He used to guys being able to hit with those these big punches, but Florida's not there. Florida's defense is ex exceptional, and people didn't understand that. There's a body shot. Left hook to the body. First time that Gaddy's had a chance to throw to the ribcage. Raised Gaddy's chin, and another big left hook catches him slightly. Right hand is solid. Combinations by Mayweather. Too much speed. Maybe too much power, too. Entirely too much speed. And if Gaddy lets him sit, out, sit outside and box at this pace all night, he'll pick him to death like this all night. Gaddy's going to have to sell out to get inside. There's no way he can win the fight fighting at range like this. No way possible. Walk it out, walk it out, walk it out. Swelling under both of Gaddy's eyes. Gaddy brought back his old cut man, Joe Souza, after Souza, showing loyalty to the fighter he had first worked for, switched to James Lehigh in the last fight. After some initial anger about it, Gaddy said, hey, I got to appreciate Joe for his loyalty, and he's done great work for me. He certainly has. And he may need to do great work again tonight. 
Oh, it's a Huge left hook. And the straight right. Arturo hasn't really landed anything big in the first two rounds. It's been a landslide for Floyd Mayweather. At this rate, it's hard to imagine Gaddy lasting into the late rounds. It Not is at this very point. difficult to find any one in boxing who gave Gaddy much of a chance going into this fight. In that round, you saw why. Come on. You're standing too straight up. Come on, baby. Don't get up. You're playing now. Attack him from an angle. You're standing in front of him, getting hit with right hand leaves, baby. Keep the left hand out in front. Stay low. Come on, champ, baby. Come on, baby. You can do this. Okay? They know what the fuck they're up again. Keep touching him with the jab. He's busting up all right. All you got to do is keep checking, keep checking his ass with that hook. Turn him with the right hand when you want to. How you feel? All right, bro. Feel good? Don't shot. Wait, come on. He see Floyd landing the straight right lead at will. Come back with the left hook following it. Ends it with a right to the body, then another right over the top. Floyd Mayweather loves the spotlight. Copy box numbers in round two. Gaddy four out of 42. Mayweather 27 out of 47. If it was an election, they'd project the winner right now. <laughs> in boxing, the hair usually beats right, the tortoise. Right out. Just walk it right out. I said walk it. Harold Letterman has scored 10-8 in each of the first two rounds. That's how big a landslide the second round was in Letterman's view, because there was no knockdown. Still, he scored at 10-8. I scored it a 10-9 round. I did, although Mayweather clearly won it, I don't think he inflicted that much damage. The hand speed is making it very difficult for Gotti to get anything started right now. Let his hand go. Let his hand go. Hey! Bring it well, up. He, Bring got it up. A, he got in a good low blow, and he may need it. Earl Morton asking Gaddy to keep him up. Earl Morton's only refereed five world championship fights, and his inexperience may have contributed to the confusion in round one. Gaddy acknowledged to us yesterday that he didn't expect to win the first four rounds, but surely he expected it to be more of a fight than this. Mayweather really is on point tonight. He's very sharp. He's not allowed Gotti to make no mistakes. Every mistake that Gotti makes just about, he's capitalizing off of it. And Arturo Gatti's right Box. eye Box. is swelling Box. badly. Come on, let's go. Box. Now Morton stops Mayweather and says, you keep him up. Thank God he landed a pretty good right hand then. Didn't seem to be to have no effect on Floyd. Gaddy is very protective with his right hand. Mayweather's been so quick with the left hook. Mayweather sticks a jab. He's landing more or less at will in these first three rounds. There's a vicious right hand over the top. And another one just for good measure. The crowd trying to rouse Gaddy. But so far, Mayweather has taken the crowd out of the... Most of them apparently I stunned right by the right utter one-sidedness of it so far. Yeah, Gotti can't beat him at this, at this distance or this pace for sure. Floyd can do this for three years. Side, Manchester, England's Ricky Hatton, working for the BBC, holder of the Ring Magazine Championship belt for this division ever since he upset Kostazu in his hometown last month. How you feel? How you feel? Keep your best stiff jab on that. Hard to hit, hard to bite. Show the hard ones to bite. 
Where you keep looking for that? Where you keep looking for that? Slide that right hook in there on his ass. Hit him in the head too much. Hey, make him beat that whole thing, buddy. Okay? You got to hit him. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. Come on. Don't worry, baby. Don't get upset, okay? Let's go out there now. Let's fight like I know you can fight. Let's get the head movement going. Come on, baby, like we did in the gym. Get the upper body movement. Just step around. Stay in your corner, stay in your, go back and stay in your corner, man. Let's go. Well, you saw the overwhelming copy box numbers through round three. They throw about the same number of punches. One guy lands 20, the other guy lands 70. Harold, how do you have it so far? <laughs> okay, Jim, three to nothing, 30 to 25, Floyd Mayweather. Jim, I gotta tell you something, I gotta talk about that first round. Now listen, boxing has got rules just like any other game. If the referee doesn't yell, stop, a break, okay? And you stand there looking at the referee. Floyd Mayweather had every right to hit Arturo Gatti and knock him down. Morton did nothing wrong whatsoever. Gatti objected to the fact that Floyd grabbed him behind the head. But if you don't hear the referee yell, stop, I mean, Floyd can hit him. Three to nothing, Mayweather. Ah, bring it up, bring it up. Okay, I see. So Harold exonerates the referee and doesn't necessarily think he should have stepped in when Mayweather appeared to be holding Gaddy's head down. And there's a vote for Earl Morton in round one. We're well into the fight now, round four, and Arturo Gaddy, to my view, Roy, hasn't landed a single body punch. That's a very bad sign. And that's what Freddie just told him. You're not going to the body. You're all here, honey. And that's because of his fans in here. It's getting brutal in there. As Mayweather fires at will. Oh, oh. Oh. A tattooer got it taken right now. A heavy tattooer. One that he won't be able to respond to like he does in normal fights because Floyd won't, won't be that fun to respond to it. You don't get the sense that any one a punch by Mayweather is hurting Gaddy yet, but the numbers of them are. It's just discouraging to him because everything he does, he gets hit seven times. That left eye is starting to close. He can't seem to get with no punches anymore. It's got to be discouraging, but you got to give him credit for the heart because he's still trying his hardest. Yes, tremendous heart. But it, it's hard to see how he has a clue about landing anything big or effective. And that was what the game plan was supposed to be about, landing ah. big shots. Come on, baby, you're waiting too long. You're looking for that one punch, Arturo. Stop, man. Come on, take your time, but you gotta get up your hands go. You're not letting your hands go, baby. All right, you, you're aiming too much for the head. Keep stepping around. Keep your head, your upper body moving. You can do it, baby. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting punished anyway, so fuck it. Good work, baby. Beautiful work. Good work. Good work. Good work. Here you see Floyd in a straight right hand. Left jab, another straight right hand, another left jab, another straight right hand, just, just did miss and follow with a hook at the end. He hit got him with everything he throws at him anytime he gets ready. The problem Gaddy is having is that at close quarters, Mayweather sees everything coming and his hands are so fast that Gaddy doesn't have a chance to respond. I don't know when I've seen more one sided copy box numbers. Mayweather 32 out of 60 in that round, Gaddy 5 out of 37. Larry, you probably saw a lot of the action between Sugar Ray Robinson and Jake LaMotta. Was it ever this one-sided? Well, I don't go quite back that far. I don't remember that. 
but Lamata was extremely strong and uh, could come forward uh, through some of Robinson's punches. There Daddy gets in a left to the body. His best and most purposeful punch so far. I have to take all the punches he's taking. For him to come and still be throwing shots like that says a lot about Gotti, son. Ah, stop! Well, there's an old phrase about the guts of a burglar. Come on, I doubt there's a burglar Let's alive who has right, the guts of Arturo Gatti. Don't hold his hands, Lord. You know, everybody the remember, remembers in history Robinson Lamata, but, you know, uh, Willie Pep had a great deal of uh, trouble with a fighter who just jumped in on him and gave him all kinds of, uh, of problems. So sometimes speed can be neutralized, but Gaddy hasn't shown that he can do it yet. Ah, stop. Sandy Sadler was the fighter I was thinking of, who I believe beat G Pep three out of four. But uh, Gaddy has been unable to, to upset uh, Mayweather at all. He's been unable to get in close and rough him up. Stop, stop, stop. Don't put the forearm in his face, okay? Okay, let's go. Box. See, Floyd taking his time, trying to let a little bit, a little bit of the punishment soak in on, on what's on uh, got it. And he's trying to catch him with a big shot. I hope you heard him when he's not expecting it. Giving Gotti fans a chance to see something what they came to see. Straight right hand by Mayweather twists Gatti's head around. Crashes another straight right hand right off of the Gatti noggin. Gatti's had a couple moments of competitiveness in this round, but as as Roy Jones suggests, Mayweather may simply be allowing him to open up to create opportunities. hand across the top just missed for Gaddy. Right hands by Mayweather land like lasers. Ah! At this rate the question is how long will Arturo be able to see Mayweather's punch is coming if in fact he still can. Not much longer. There's Miguel Cotto at ringside, ranked to number five by the ring coming into tonight, sure to move up because Vivian Harris has lost, and he was ranked ahead of Cotto. Cotto knocked out the man who beat Harris, Carlos Mousa. Cotto may want the winner of the fight, although if that's Mayweather, you wonder if he wants him that soon. Don't worry about that, okay? Come on, baby. We still got seven rounds to go. Don't worry about it. Yeah, soften that ass up a little bit more. Put that right hook in there too. You need that. That's for the road. Punch that ass. Here you see that, like we said earlier, one straight right hand. Jab, jab, another straight right hand. Another hook. I mean, just five or six punch combinations at a time. Got to carry nothing about it. Totally a mismatch on, mismatch on hand speed. Totally a bad fight for Tio Gata, which I said from the get go. But let's see what happens. Again, I don't know when I've seen more one-sided punch stat numbers. Gaddy has landed eight out of 47 power punches thrown through the fifth round. Mayweather's landed 81 of 141. So every time Floyd lands power punches in bunches, he is putting greater distance between himself and Arturo Gaddy. Mayweather wearing winning gloves, an Asian-made glove, which Emmanuel Stewart called pillows on our air. He thinks they'll help protect his brittle hands, which have oft been broken in the past. Gaddy's wearing Everlast, the conventional brand. He breaks his right hand virtually every time he fights. In case you're wondering whether Mayweather will get tired, he sometimes spars 10 or 15 minute rounds with different sparring partners moving in to increase his stamina. Too much hands. Oh, by the shot. By the shot. Hurt, 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 real bad. That is, yeah. By the shot, throw the two. Buddy McGirt keeps telling Gaddy not to worry. 
I'm wondering if you shouldn't throw in the towel. Yeah, by the side, I heard it real bad, then. This is humiliating. Floyd Mayweather promised exactly this. He promised he would humiliate Arturo Gatti before his fans. I can't understand who wouldn't see this, though, before it happened. Much of the crowd is on its feet in awe of the display that Mayweather's putting forth. How in the world can Gaddy keep taking it? We didn't stop this because he's done. The mass of Roy Jones passed on the fight. And I mean, just I one guy totally out pass. Come not going to land in the punch because he's Floyd. not fast enough to Come put on. the big punch on Floyd Mayweather. Very difficult to watch. Gaddy landed a little left hook. Mayweather knocked him halfway across the ring with his own vicious left hook. Oh, God. Why would anybody continue? That was Daddy's a 10 Daddy's eyes are closed. You can't see. Hey, stop that. Don't hit him in the body. I'm not sure Buddy McGirt wants to let him come back out. Stop stopping it, baby. Stop it. They're stopping it. They're stopping it, Mike. And thank heaven. One more. Take a look at him. It's been over. No more, baby. No, no, Unfortunately, no, no. Glad it's stopped. Come on. 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 An easy TKO victory. Virtuoso, Virtuoso victory for Floyd Mayweather. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Brilliant, brilliant performance. Now here's the problem. Who in the world will fight him? There are some guys that will fight him. Guys with better speed, better footwork, have a better chance at fighting. When they announced this fight, you know when you first asked me about this fight, I told you, if I had God, I would put him nowhere near a ring with Floyd Mayweather. It's the wrong fight for him. But for the fans, for the payday, I guess this is what they fight for. And we have to have As we said earlier, it was Gaddy who wanted this fight. Not his promoters. That's all right, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. Don't worry. Don't worry. He see Floyd pop shot and all night, straight right lead. Straight right lead again, couldn't miss. Straight right lead again, three straight rights in a row. Just could not miss the guy. There you see a jab to the body. Overhand right there, Graves, another left body shot. That's the shot that really hurt him and started all the trouble right there. That left body shot was big. Overhand right over the top, jab, another right to the body. And it was just a matter of time at this point. No more, baby. No, no. Uh, Until, uh, uh, look at me. It. Your eyes closed. Your, Your eyes closed. closed. Come on. Too much. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank heaven, they chose to stop it there. And here's another look, Roy. Yeah, I mean the hand speed was just the case. It was nothing else. I mean, God is a big puncher, but he's not a fast puncher. Anytime guys like Ivan Robinson can give you a problem, you know Floyd Mayweather going to be way too much. Absolutely right. Gaddy's three previous bad experiences against slick boxers, Angel Man Freddy, Ivan Robinson beat him twice, Oscar Deloy embarrassed him. Again, it happens tonight. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the particulars on the TKO. Ladies and gentlemen, the at six. 
round six. The winner, KO3, and new WBC Super Lightweight Champion of the World, still undefeated, Pretty Boy, Floyd Mayweather. Final CompuBox landslide numbers. Again, if it were an election, they could have projected the winner in the first round. Gaddy landing 41 out of 245, Mayweather 168 out of 295, many of them blistering, vicious power shots to the head. 57% connect percentage, you'll seldom see a higher one. Look at the connect percentage in power shots. He landed nearly two-thirds of them, 115 out of 183. Gaddy 10 out of 56, he was never for a moment in the fight. Harold Letterman scored the first two rounds 10-8. Even though there was only one somewhat questionable knockdown, that's how much of a landslide it was from the outset. Let's go to Larry Merchant with Pretty Boy Floyd.